What's up, everybody? It's Rick, and welcome back to some more Plate Up, a game that I think you guys still like watching, and I still love playing, so we're going to be doing a lot more of it. Uh, this episode, what are we going to be doing? Well, first, let's take a look at what we've got in our storage area here. We've got a transport, we've got a hosting stand, we've got a microwave, and then we've got this extra life as well. Microwave could be handy, uh, but let's see, what are we going to cook this time around? I've done fish. Had some good success with fish. Got steak, stir fry, and salad. I'm kind of curious, what would we do with steak? Like, uh, steak in a microwave? That that could be tricky, right? That that could be tricky. Um, you know what? I'm gonna do steak. Gonna do steak. We haven't. I don't think we have done steak single player yet. And as far as the kitchen goes, Alpine is new. I feel like we should get Alpine just because it's new, but wait a second. A lot of you guys have been talking about, hey, Rick, you should automate your seating, and uh, it's going to be tricky with any of these layouts, quite honestly. So you know what? Let's take Alpine, and we'll do that. We'll do steak in the Alpine, see how this works out. And like I said, I don't know how cooking steak in the microwave will really work, so I think we'll just go ahead and do it with the stoves, all right? Old-fashioned steak style, cooking it on the stove. We know how to cook steaks. And what I was talking about, automating stuff, like putting the chairs... Actually, you know what I could do? I could put the chair right here, turn this off, and then I could put... I, I called it a chair. It's actually a table. I know what that is. There we go. I could put one there. It's just a single seater. And then I could put one here with a double seater. We'll do that, all right? If I'm going to do that, though, we're going to want to move these counters. Move the old counters and uh, move the sink. I'm going to put the sink in here for now. Until I need to do otherwise. Okay, I could do you there, you there, you right there, and then as far as the plates go, we'll just put the plates, you know what? Plates right, I think right here will be fine. Take you, put you there. We'll call that good, all right? Let's go. Let's get started by cooking up some steaks. Start by cooking them rare. Then we can always cook more steaks as we need. All right, what are these guys gonna want? Let's go take an order. What do y'all want? Take your order, there you go. Oh, you guys both want well done? Okay. Getting another hob is going to be a priority. There we go. Gonna wanna be able to cook several steaks at once. There we go, here you go. Peoples, have your steaks and eat them too. Oh, I think that, I may have overcooked that one. That's fine. No, I think that's fine, right? That's a rare. Whoop. Got you. Wow. Steaks are messy. This is the biggest little messy pile. Okay. These people are standing in the cold. Hold on. I'm cleaning up this huge mess. There you go. Come on in. Oh. I can't set you there. I gotta move this. Move this plate. I can already tell. This is going to be a challenge. And I should actually move the sink back in here. Having to do this. It's not great. Okay. What do y'all want? Okay, good. A rare and a medium? Perfect. Medium. Rare. Bazinga. Nailed it. And we're probably close to the end of the day. I doubt we're going to get maybe one more set of customers. Yep, there we go. Last, just one customer. A single person coming in. Let's see what they want. You know what? Why, why am I doing plates? I don't need to wash no plates. I just got to give you a medium steak. No prob. No prob, Bob. There you go. Now I'm just going to stand here. Think about my life. Goodbye. Goodbye, friend. Okay, we made $25. And I can tell you right now, I'm not going to buy anything, all right? I'm just going to skip through. I'm not even going to look at what we could buy. All right, I'm just going to skip right to the next day. Um, Yeah, let's go, okay? Because I want to save our money. I want to save our money. Going to save it good. Going to cook some steaks up. Like a steak should. That means cook to a temperature of 155 degrees so you don't get sick with no steak disease. Here you go. And steak for you. Oh god, you guys are so messy. I'm glad I don't have to go out there and clean it because... Whoop! I don't think so. Not so fast. Okay. I'm not going to plate up these meats just yet. I'm just going to set them right on the counter like that. 
let them rest. You should always let your steak rest, okay? Let your steak rest before you cut it. Uh, oh, you want a well done, huh? Okay, you got it, bud. Coming right up. Coming right up. Well done, all right? We've done enough steak shaming. I'm not gonna shame you for having a well done steak, all right, bud? You eat it how you want it, okay? I think we're doing all right, all right? We found our steak groove. We got a two top coming in. Is this gonna be the last uh, group of the night? We shall see. Okay, you want a rare and a well done? Okay, you know what? I'm gonna put that there. Cause I'm gonna wait for the well done. Okay, so actually I'm glad that I have this platform here to talk about stakes and well done and whatnot. Uh, obviously when we play this multiplayer, We've, we've talked to death about uh, how you should cook your steaks, all right? And I'm not going to shame you if you like a well-done steak, but there is a great story that I heard recently. We're going to go ahead and skip through this day as well. Um, so, here in the States, there is a buffet restaurant called Golden Corral. And a few weeks ago, there was an incident of people getting to a huge brawl at Golden Corral. There were like 40 people brawling it up in the Golden Corral. Who knew what was going on? People assumed, you know, it probably had to do with like COVID mask mandates because that's typically what people fight about, you know, as stupid as it may be. But you know what? The actual truth was much stupider. So the people were actually fighting because they were in line at the Golden Corral to get their steaks cooked. Now the guy in front, he ordered his steak well done. And the guy behind him ordered his steak rare. Now, would it shock you to hear that the guy who was second in line got his steak before the guy who ordered it well done? No, of course not, because it takes longer to cook a well done steak. Well, guy number one didn't see it that way. He got very upset that the guy who ordered his steak rare got it first because he didn't place his order first. How is that fair? And then they got into a brawl. It caused a brawl because somebody in line couldn't wrap their mind around the fact that cooking a well-done steak takes more time than cooking a rare steak. Oh boy. The United States got some problems when it comes to educating the public, but uh, I feel like that should be on the curriculum, all right? If one person orders a steak, well done, and another orders it rare, who gets their steak first? Simple, simple math, okay? Uh, okay, I plated that up, didn't need to plate it up made a mistake there, but that's fine. This is the last table of the day. We can make mistakes for the last table, all right? Like, don't tell them that the steak's been sitting out all day, all right? That's our little secret. They'll never know. Thanks, guys. See you later. Come back again. Have some, you know, steak that's been sitting around all day. Hey, and we got our first star. Huzzah! All right, day's complete. We have $75. What do we got? Steak mushroom sauce or personalized rating? Allows customers to change their order. What? Customers can change their order shortly after giving it. Okay. Um, or adds mushroom sauce as a steak topping. Takes some time to make, but each pot will serve multiple portions. Ooh. Um, oh, gosh. I'm probably going to regret doing this, but I'm going to get the steak sauce. Add onion and water to a pot and boil to make broth. Add chopped mushrooms and cook. Okay, so add onion and water, doesn't say chopped onion, onion and water to the pot, boil, chopped mushrooms, cook, pour it over steak. Okay, let's see if we don't mess this up. Uh, I got my onions there. What do we got in the envelopes? A chandelier. Let's go spruce up the restaurant. Do I like that? Not particularly. Yeah, do I like that better? Blue carpet. Oh, that's fancy. Okay, we got our mushies here. We got our pots. Okay, this is going to add quite a few things to the restaurant. That's fine. Here we go. I'll put my uh, mushrooms there. I'm going to move you into here. I had said that I wanted to move the sink. I'm actually, I think I'm going to keep the sink there. And what are we going to do as far as upgrading the restaurant goes? Are we going to upgrade anything right now? Ooh. Ooh, are we going to? I don't think I am. You know what I'm going to do, though? I'm going to move you right there. I'm going to move the pots right there. And uh, let's just go open up these envelopes just to see what's in them. Okay, we have $75, like I said. That costs 60 Uh Rug costs 60 That's going to be plus one diamond to the room. As is the painting, which is going to be negative two fast food plus one tie. Let me pull open the wiki real quick, okay? Because, uh... 
feel like that's gonna help us. I always need to be reminded about these things. There's the wiki, right there. Wiki wiki. Okay, they've updated the wiki recently too, and I, I like that. Decorations, here we go, so uh... Okay. So... We've got... Okay, negative two food is negative two affordable. Wait, so that's... Does that mean they're gonna pay more money? Um... I'm going to... You know what? We're gonna buy the painting. A painting to spruce up the whole room. I think that that's pretty awesome. And that's pretty much all we can afford. You know what I'm gonna do, though? I'm gonna bring you into here. I feel like having you in here would be helpful. Okay. Uh, it's getting kind of crowded in here, but uh, we're gonna make this work, okay? So we're gonna grab the pot. We're gonna add an onion. We're gonna add the water. We're gonna go ahead and boil. We're gonna let that cook. We're gonna add some chopped mushies to that. All right, and then this should be good for multiple servings, it says. Now look at this. I'm cooking this the way it told me to cook it, so this better work, damn it. Okay, add the mushies, there we go. And then we gotta cook the steaks. So I'm gonna add, I'm gonna put the mushroom sauce over here in the corner. That's where I'll keep it. Go cook in my steaks. What do you want, friend? You want a well done with mushroom sauce? Of course you do. You want the hardest possible thing to cook. First customer of the day. High maintenance. There you go. No problem though, I got you covered, bro. Eat it, eat it, eat it good. And uh, I'll cook up a couple steaks to get ahead of the game real quick. Wash my plate. Okay, what do you want? You want steak sauce too, okay. You want the rare with the steak sauce, you got it. How many servings of steak sauce do I get? That was two. We'll have to keep track of this. Oh, oh, grab you. Um, oh, God. Uh, I need to put you somewhere. I'll put you right there. Just for a moment. There we go. What do you want? You want a rare? Cool. Boom. Done. We're crushing it. We're crushing, y'all. This is how you do steaks. This pot of sauce is lasting us all the day. Now I'm gonna plate up this rare real quick. Actually, no, I take it back. I'm not gonna plate it up, because if I plate it up, then I can't unplate it. You know what I mean? There we go. Hey! Mushroom sauce ain't slowing us down. We got a handle on this thing. Just these two tables is all we need. Hey, all right. $35, another day can plate. Complete? <laughs> Complete. I feel like we didn't make nearly enough money that day. Did we only make $15 that day? Okay, we got a microwave. I'm looking at this stuff. I ain't gonna buy none of it, though. Uh, nothing that I really need to buy. Alright, we're just going on to the next day. Because that's how we do. Oh, we gotta get the stuff cooked here real quick. Let that boil. Chop up the mushies. Having another hob would be so helpful. So if there's another hob to buy tomorrow, we're gonna buy it for sure. Okay, we gotta... Two top, as they say in the industry. Oh, look that cook. All right. Yeah, I definitely am going to need another hob. I won't be able to sustain this unless I have more cooking areas. Okay, oh crap, we have another group coming in that's going to want a seat. Okay, got to get it well done. And they're standing out in the cold, so they're not going to be happy about this. These people are gonna have to eat fast. Okay, for you. For you, here, hurry up and eat. I gotta get these people sat, okay? There you go, come on in. Oh, you guys are gonna fight? You know what, that's fine. That's only gonna buy me time. Okay, my two top. Everybody, okay, it's all two tops today, which is a little annoying. What do you guys want? Okay, a well done and a medium with sauce, okay. That'll be the medium of sauce. This will be the well done. There you go. Well done. Y'all good. Eat the food and get out of my restaurant. Okay, you two come in. Okay, we're gonna need another table. For sure. Okay, another two tops. You gotta be kidding me. 
Okay. We got a medium with sauce and a well done with sauce. Okay. Get that well done going. Oh god, am I gonna be able to do this? It's gonna be it's gonna be real close. Okay, you guys hurry up and eat. Hurry, hurry, hurry. Ah, oh, you gotta be kidding me. I feel like I was going as fast as I could have gone. I needed another table. That is my bad, obviously. We're gonna do another run. Holy butts, okay. That's what I- ooh, I got a mixer in the garage? Okay. You know what? We're gonna do another steak run. We're gonna do another steak run. We're gonna save all the stuff that we have in the garage right now, and we'll do another steak run. Let's see if we've got a better layout for our restaurant this time. City, uh, not a great layout. Country, not a great layout. Ooh, this is a good layout. This will work for us. So we're gonna do this country layout, and we're gonna do this steak right here. All right. Redemption steak, let's go. I'm just gonna keep saving stuff in the garage. Fill it up with good stuff. Okay. So what we'll do is place the table there. Place the table there. Turn that off. We got two two tops now. So we won't be struggling there anymore. Um, as far as arranging this kitchen goes, you know what? Let's put the sink right over there. I am going to move the trash can into this room again. We're going to do this here. We're going to do you right there. And actually, you know what? Take that. Take that. Take that, whoops, take that. Uh, the plate's there, that actually works just fine. Let's go. Already making a mess. Hello, hello. Yeah, take your order. Whoop. Okay, well, you know what, that's perfect. You wanted two mediums, and we can do. Medium for you, and medium for you. Steaky, steaky, steak it up. Okay. Uh, clean my plates. And I'll keep a plate right there. You know what? I don't need to grab the plates until I'm ready to serve. There we go. Clean you up. I'll just have two steaks prepped at any time. I think that'll be fine. Okay, you want a well done and a medium? Can do. Get that well done going. Okay. This time around, we're going to try and look for a hob as early as possible. Like, the first day, I didn't buy anything. I should have been on the lookout for a hob on that first day. For all I know, there could have been a hob to buy that first day, and I just skipped past it. So we're not going to make that mistake this time. We made $20 today, which means that there's probably going to be another table. There we go. It's a two top two, so we have the potential to make $30 here. Get these steaks cooking real quick. And this should certainly be the last table of the day. What do you guys want? A medium and a well done. We'll let that one cook well done. Get you served up there. There we go. Okay. And that'll do it for the day. Okay, we got $30. That's a pretty good first day, making $30. I think that's about as well as we could hope to do. Now let's see what we've got available to us. We got a dining table. We've got a conveyor, a dishwasher. I can't afford... Ooh, there's the hob. That's what I need, right? A uh, counter and a counter. Oh, and we got something over here. Let's just check what it is. It is a sink. So we're definitely going to buy that hob. Should only cost 20 There we go. Okay, with that being said, I'll move you right there, put you right there, and let's go. Alright, having two hobs now is going to help us pretty tremendously. There we go. Take your order. Hello, people. Okay, we need a medium and a well done. There's the medium. Well done. Okay, let's get the other two steaks cooking. Clean it up. Clean it up. And this plate will just go right there. All right. I feel like I've got a handle on things. I feel like we can sustain this for a while. 
these two tables, the fact that both these tables are two tops helps a lot. I think that was part of my downfall last time, was just having that one top. Made it pretty difficult. But this dining room layout is so much better. Okay, we're we gonna get one or two more groups today. We got time for two more groups. We'll be interested to see. There's that one person coming in, in the rain. Just one lonely person who's just really eager to eat some steak. How would you like it? Ooh, rare, perfect. Come on, we, we've got food for two more people. Come on, come on. I know it's raining, but these steaks aren't gonna eat themselves. Oh God, you know what I haven't done? Is name the restaurant. Uh, what is this one gonna be called? It's gonna be called, um, uh, oh geez. I need a good name for a steak place. I'm going to call it Steaktopia. All right. Simple. But it communicates what we do pretty well. Okay, we got a budget hob. I've never messed with the budget hob. Sometimes catches fire. That kind of scares me. I don't need a hob so bad that I need that budget hob. So I'm going to skip that. Combinable and or a table and a soaking sink. The soaking sink costs 20. Washes dishes. Does not provide water. Um... You know what? I'm going to skip all of that. I think that I'm okay with what we've got. Okay, right away we're getting a two-top. I'm going to get some more steaks cooking here real quick. Okay, what can I get for you people? Two well-dones. Okay. Whoops. And I can't redo that one. I grabbed it a little bit too early. Hopefully somebody orders a medium today. Put that right there. Get a couple more steaks cooking. Put that in the sink. All right, what can I give you? You want it? Well done. You got it. Everyone's eating it well done today. Put you back and put you in the sink. Okay. There we go. Just got a single table. Easy peasy. Hopefully one of you guys wants a medium. Tell me that you want a medium steak, okay? Yeah, two mediums. Nice, okay. I'm going to keep these two rares. Let this medium cook real quick. We got time. There we go. Medium for you and a medium for you. All right. I have a feeling this is going to be in my last table, but I'm going to cook a couple of steaks just in case it ain't. Whoops, whoops, that's the wrong one. Um, there we go. What would you like? Well done and a medium? Okay, can do. That's the medium. That's the well done. Okay, and that's going to be the last table of the night for sure. So we don't got to clean. The kitchen gnomes will clean in the middle of the night. Because somehow, at the end of the day, this place is a mess. But in the morning, it's always clean. It's a miracle. And we're at one star. Okay, next expected group size is five. Let's see what we can do with this kitchen. Splash zone. Messes are created in a wider area. Why drop food when you could throw it? Or carrot soup. You know what? I'm going to get it more messy. Don't even care, all right? I don't even care. Let's spruce this place up, though, all right? How about some green wallpaper? Ooh la la. What do we got to buy? I'm probably going to skip buying stuff this time around to save my money. Unless there's something really good. There's this calming painting I can get. Which is actually going to give one diamond to the room. Hmm. Candelabra. Good for two tiles, one diamond. And that only costs 20. You know what? I'm going to save my money. We're going to go big when we get to two stars, okay? For now... I'm going to keep it. As far as the messes go, something tells me I'm going to need a mop soon. I'm not concerned about the messes. Whoop, hello. In the dining area, necessarily, because uh, that shouldn't be a problem. But uh, I am going to worry about the messes in the kitchen. Okay, we need a well done. 
and a rare. You got it. There you go. Well done. Rare. Mwah. Chef's kiss. There you go. And what would you like? You single individual. You want it medium. Coming right up. There you go. Go clean some plates. I mean, the kitchen's staying relatively clean. There's one spot. Dining room's kind of a mess. But they don't seem to complain. I've said this before, and uh, I hope the developer is watching. Great game. Love it. Can't stop playing it. And I was thinking to myself, like, you know, it would be great if there were a tip system in the game. I think I've mentioned this before. I understand why you wouldn't put a tip system in this, particularly if you're not from the States. I, I realize that tipping... Uh, as as like a concept is kind of an American thing but I would love it if like the cleaner you kept the place the more likely you were to get a tip or something like that I would love to see some kind of a tip mechanic introduced into the game make more money to keep the place clean because right now I've got no incentive to keep this place clean I'm keeping it dirty 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 there you go and whoops uh, come on, pick it up. There you go. All right. I think that we're going to get one more group before the end of the day. I'm going to do these plates just because what else am I doing with my time? If I've got time to lean, I've got time to clean. I've had a lot of bosses who have said that to me in my time. But then again, I've had a lot of jobs. All right. What would you like? I want to take your order. All right. We are on top of stuff, guys. I have got time to spare. It would be nice to have a frozen prep station. Starting the day with all these... Steaks ready to go could really do us well. We've got a hundred dollars as well So what else do I need for my kitchen other than one of those prep stations? Well, let's see what we've got available if there's anything really good. I'll buy it But unless there's something really great. I'm probably gonna pass. Okay table counter um, gas override a bin Hey, there we go chilled prep station. That's exactly what I was just talking about Thank you for listening game um, and you know what I'll do is I'll just put it I'll put it right there. That's fine. Okay. Let's get started. I'll put rare steaks in there. Rare steak. Rare steak. I'll just stock this thing. Chock a block full of rare steaks. Rare steak. Rare steak. Cook up a couple more rares. Clean up my puddle. Rare and rare. Okay, and you would like a medium. Okay. And I'm going to cook that medium to order. All right, because I got a moment. I got some downtime. There you go. Cook up a couple more rares. Okay, having this steak spot here is actually going to make things a little tricky, I'm realizing. When I'm trying to grab their plates, I'm probably going to end up grabbing some steaks occasionally. It's going to make things a little bit tricky. Manageable, but a little tricky. Oh wait. Oh, gotta clean this plate first Having another counter could probably be a good idea Be a place to store that second plate Okay, now I've got A lot of steaks prepped you want it well done you want it rare You guys are like the odd couple There you are and for you there you go Okay, cook up a couple more steaks go put you right there take you oh I got nowhere to put you um hello what would you like you want it well done perfect okay put you there put you there got the well done there you go I really want to automate this place a lot of you guys have had really good suggestions love reading your guys's comments so first off thank you so much for all the hot tips you've been giving me um, a lot of you guys saying Rick if you were to put a grabber um, next to the fish when I was cooking fish I could just have it go straight to the hob I would love to do stuff like that um, so I'm gonna keep my eyes out for grabbers and whatnot and try to do that stuff or whoops you know what let me play the other one real quick there we go there you go Oh, y'all are messy, and I love it. I love the message you're making. Keep it up. Keep it up, y'all. 
Okay, and uh, made $35 that day. Let's just see what we got available. There's a conveyor, counter, napkins, danger hob again. Actually, no, danger hob's okay, but with steak, I don't really need the danger hob. I did mention it'd be nice to get a counter. They only cost five. I'll grab one additional counter, all right? I'll plop it right there. As far as these steaks go, you know what? I'm going to put them right there just so I don't accidentally grab the steaks when I'm trying to get something else. I think that that'll work. Let's go. I'll keep these prep steaks there. Gives us a good head start for the day. Okay. You want a medium and a well done. Okay. There's the medium and the well done. Boom and boom. All right. And I think that we just take a breather right now. Wait for these people to eat. Wait for this person to come in. Now, of course, I've got these steaks pre-cooked. Should probably start to use them. Okay, what can I get the two of you? Okay, well done. And a medium. Medium. Well done. For you and for you. All right, let's throw a couple more on the grill. Okay, medium and a rare. There we go. I kind of feel like we're crushing it, all right? I'm kind of feeling like we're really on top of things. Okay, we got a medium and a rare that time. Okay, we need a well done though. I'll cook that one well done. For you, there you go. Gotta clear these plates. Clear the plates, clear the plates. There we go. And for you, you would like a medium? All right. We'll cook this one up medium. Okay, we've gotta have at least one more group, maybe two. I have a feeling this will be our last group of the day. Okay, and yep, definitely the last group. We didn't have to dip into any of our pre-cooked steaks here that we kept frozen. Fresh frozen. Steaktopia is crushing it. So what is that? That's going to be going into day seven now. Two stars. All right. Let's see what upgrades we have for our restaurant now. We have $120 to spend. Um, leisurely eating greatly increases customer eating time or as mushroom as a steak topping. Okay. Um, I'm gonna do the mushroom steak topping. I think that we've got time to do this this time, especially because we've got all these steaks prepped. Whoop, didn't mean to do that. I'm gonna change the floor out here though. And uh, wallpaper, wallpaper's good. Actually, you know what, the brown wallpaper, that'll probably look pretty spiffy. And for a steak place, I think it just makes sense. And what do we got here? We got the, oh, that's right, we need to put the, uh, the mushrooms and whatnot in here. Um, it's getting a little crowded in here. It's okay. You know what? I can put you here, and then I can put uh, you here. Put you like that. Put you like that. Put you like that. Put the mushrooms like this. Okay, and then we need a place to put the... Uh, you know what? The plates. I'll go ahead and put there. What do we got here? Wall lights. Wait, where, where is, uh, where's my pots? Um, where is the pots? I'm gonna cook the mushroom soup. Don't I need, wait. Oh, you know what? It's not the, oh, crap. It's not the mushroom soup that I'm doing, right? Oh, crap. Um, is it just the cooked mushrooms on top? I think I did that one wrong. Recipes, steak. Steak, okay. Oh, just chopped mushroom, put on the steak, okay. I was thinking I was doing the sauce. My bad. I didn't buy any of the upgrades. Rick, you foolish fool. Okay, I do need just to chop some mushrooms to put on the steak. Can do. I feel like that shouldn't take but a minute to do. So, cook that up. Put you there. 
Now if I just chopped mushroom, can I just put it? There we go. Is that is that good? Oh, I'm sorry. You just you didn't want mushroom. My bad, Brent. Getting ahead of myself. Okay, now I hope that somebody orders medium with mushroom. Otherwise, we wasted that. Okay, you want a well done with mushroom. Okay. Oh god, that's well done. There we go. Easy. Just put raw mushroom on top of steak. Can't do. Okay, would you like a medium with mushroom? Ah, oh, you want a well done with mushroom as well, okay. For you. Okay, and we got two people, a medium and a well done, okay. That one there, put this one here. That's my medium. My well done. Boom, boom. All right, let's get some plates done real quick. Also, I need to cook a couple more. Okay, whoop, that's a medium, okay. We need a rare with a mushroom. You know what? Chop this up real quick. Okay, it's making it trickier, obviously. I need to find my rhythm with the mushrooms. And the large demand for steak. Okay, a rare and... Jeez, Louise. Nobody wants a medium, huh? Oops, uh, golly! I did it again. Just a little too early on it. Okay. Put you there, you know what? Throw you away. Put you there. Ah! Take it, there we go. And take it for you. Okay, try to put these steaks into the freezer before the end of the day. Got it, all right, whew. Made it a little bit more difficult than it needed to be that day, but uh, that's all right, $160, seven groups. Let's see what we can do today. A counter, a power sink. Power sink could be nice. Counter, mixer, don't really need a mixer. Another frozen prep station. Um, I could do a couple of these things. You know what? I'm going to get another frozen prep station. If I can do mediums as well, that would be kind of nice. And then I could just do well dones. Um, then the power washer. Two times water speed doesn't... You know what? No, the power washer is not the one I was thinking of. Don't really need that so much. You know what? Let's do it. We'll stick with that. Now I'm gonna cook up medium steaks and put them into the other freezer. Gonna get those prepped first off before I take this order. Okay. And for you, you would like a rare with the mushroom, okay. Done. Okay, and you would like a rare and a well done with mushies. Okie dokie. Boom. Ah, boom. All right. Grab you. Whoop. Yep. I'm surprised that's the first time that's happened that I've grabbed a clean dish. I was trying to grab the dirty dish. Okay, what would you like? Medium with the mushroom.
There you go. Did it again. This may be a problem. Okay, they've got a moment. I don't need to rush to them. Okay, what would you guys like? A rare and a medium with a mushy. Okay. There you go, and there you are. And a rare. For you, and plate, okay. I haven't been keeping track of how many people have come in. I was gonna have a predicted group of seven today, so this may be the last one. This may be the second to last one. We shall see. I've still got all of this steak prepped. I've been cooking it order because I've got the time to do it. I figure let's keep the stuff prepped there until I really need it. I'm not going to use the stuff I prepped just yet. Though some of you guys may be wondering, Rick, why are you prepping it if you're not going to use it? Well, there will come a time. Okay, and then a medium can do. All right. And I'm surprised at how little mess they've made in the dining room, to be quite honest. They've kept it pretty clean. I'm proud of them. I'm proud of these customers. Keeping it clean. Okay, you know what? Speaking of keeping it clean, I think we need to keep it sloppy. I'm gonna rename our restaurant. I'm gonna call this place Sloppy Steaks, okay? If you know, you know. Sloppy Steaks. New business. Gas limiter. Tablecloth. What's the tablecloth do? Uh, this is a new table. Two, say, they stay 200% longer table. All orders the same. Oh, interesting. Okay, well, that's not that important for us right now. Gas override. Uh, table. Ordering terminal. None of these are absolutely must-haves. Honestly, I could skip all of these. Save up for the next thing. You know what I could do is I could prep mushrooms, too, if I wanted to. How important is that? Not very Okay, well done with mushroom, because it only takes but a moment to chop a mushroom. Watch that plate. It's already day nine. I can't believe it's day nine. And honestly, I have not felt a lot of pressure yet. Keeping a pretty good handle on things. Okay, and for you, uh, you would like a... Wait, oh, I just realized this is a three top and that's a one top? Okay, how did that happen? When did I make that mistake? Oh geez, that could be the thing that bites us in the ass. That is not good. Okay, come on in, guys. When did that happen? Whoop, didn't mean to do that. Holy butts. That is dangerous. Okay. Both want medium with mushrooms? Okay. Oh, this is going to make things real tricky for us. Oh god, this is not good. Um, what do you want? Okay. Okay, they want, both want mushrooms, right? Yes, they do. Oh jeez, come on, come on, come on, come on. Okay, what do you want? You want a well done with mushroom? Oh, we're gonna lose for sure. You guys want... Oh my god, you guys all want mushrooms. You guys are the worst. Okay, we're, we're gonna lose. We're gonna lose. We're gonna lose. When did that change? When did the seating change? Oh, that's so annoying. 
Oh, when did that happen? Oh, we were doing so well. When did the seating change? Oh my goodness, I'm gonna obviously go back and see what the hell happened there, but somehow I had turned off a tape. Oh, that is so annoying. Anyway, you guys, I'm gonna have to check our seating before we start each day now because that just, oh, that is devastating. I'm really annoyed, guys. But that's gonna do it for this run of Plate Up, everybody. Um, oh, let me know what you guys think down in the comments. We were on a roll. If that seating thing hadn't changed at some point whenever that happened, we would have easily made it to four stars and probably beyond. Oh boy. But uh, <laughs> keep the comments coming for me, guys. If you guys got comments for me, um, you guys have been super helpful and I love reading them. So leave them down below. And if you guys enjoyed this, I hope you guys did. Let me know by giving a like, sharing, subscribing, all that good stuff. And come back next time. I will see you then.